Hello, and today on this video, I will be teaching you how to make a sword shop with a uh, with a DIY. So first, I'm just going to get rid of my DIY real quick. Oops. Um. Oh, why can't I size it? Okay, fine. I'm gonna size it. Size it. Let's see. I don't really know how to size stuff, but sure. Five, five point five comma five point five comma five point five wait comma zero comma zero point five comma zero. Okay, good, good enough. All right, and now I'm going to add a text label. And a text button. And I'm going to make two of them because I'm going to put uh, two swords. Uh, gonna drag this. I wonder what, why can't I drag a little bit? Alright, so I'm going to name these two buttons um, swords. And oh wait, that that's the text. Bye. And I'm going to name it Swords. And then I'm going to uh let's see, text scaled. Now over here I'm going to text scale and say okay. And also name it uh uh. Um, uh, money sword, okay? I'm gonna add like, so this one, I'm gonna say text scale and then buy money, buy a sword, swords for, for 100, okay? And then I'll go here and over here and then text scale and say buy a uh, money sword for for uh, three hundred. Okay. Now I'm going to uh, add a yeah. Fine. I'm just going to put the image label bank blank because this is just a tutorial. You can uh, add the image of the sword. And now I am going to name it Sword Shop. Okay. So these are the two names of my short sword. Swords and money sword. So, first, put your frame uh, visible to false, which is at. Why can't I? Understand to. Okay, and then false. Now, add a folder in replicate storage and name it swords. And then add a remote function. And name it whatever your sword name is. Swords. And then add another remote function. And I'm gonna name it my sword. But you can name it whatever you want and put hump and and put remote functions much as you want. As much as you want how many swords you they the players can buy. And now add another folder in service script service and name it sword script. Swords script. And then add two scripts for how many scripts that there is. I'm going to name this one sword. So swords and then this one money swords. And care about the name. I don't care about the grammar. I know uh with you when you put a S in like English or something, there's more than one sword so that I hear. Alright, and then over here. So I'm gonna put here local remote function function equals game dot replicate storage dot swords dot swords. And then I'm gonna say remote function dot invoke on invoke on on server invoke equals function and then I'm gonna put 
plug. Alright? Wait, let me just add the stats real quick. Um uh game dot players uh dot player add connect function. Ooh, wow, a lot of wacky mixed up. Uh connect function plug. Alright? Instance.meal folder stats dot parent equals equals player stats dot name equals leader stats. All right, and then local points equals instance dot new in value and then points dot parent equals stats and then points dot name equals points and that's all I'm gonna say. So and then after you add these stats I'm gonna make another here Swords. This is going to be the source stats. Local. I'm going to add a folder for the player. Uh, swords. Stats equals instance dot new folder. And then sword stats dot parent equals to player. And then sword sword stats dot name equals sword um, value and then I'm going to add another variable and then the parent will be in okay so I'm going to add a uh, money sword local money sword equals instance dot new boolean okay bull value okay and then money dot parent equals sword stats money Wait, wait, why did I say money? Money sword, okay? Money sword. Money sword, alright? Money sword dot parent equals sword stats. Okay? And whatever whatever name is your sword. And then money sword dot name equals money sword. And then I'm going to copy paste these. Copy copy paste this code. And then name it swords. And then swords. Uh, weird swords. And then swords. And then swords. All right. And this is the uh, swords value. Okay. So to check if they own the swords in a full value. Uh, you can do that if you want. Uh, and then we're going to continue the tutorial in part two. See you next time. Bye.